What's going on, everybody? Nah, nah, Murph man here, and I'm on the Use Guy server today, and I came across a village and a sand temple, which don't look to be explored, considering that all the crops are still there. Um, this is kind of funny. It looks like the well is uh, inside the sand temple there. Um, as you can see, I'm over a thousand blocks from spawn. Um, I was just kind of exploring, see what I could find, and uh, luckily I came across this. So, let's hit into the sand temple. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's sit in the sand temple and we'll see if we can uh, get some good stuff in there. Now, I forget if it's a wood pressure plate or a stone pressure plate, so I'm not going to break the blue wool. Um, shoot. It looks to be explored. I'm going to go down anyway, but I'm pretty sure it's explored. Yeah, it's explored. You can see that because the sand was already there. Um, that's unfortunate, but for some reason the village didn't look explored. I don't know why that is... Um, maybe they just left the crops there. I'm going to see what the villagers have to trade, see if we can get any good trades. I do have six emeralds back at my base. Unfortunately, I didn't bring them because I didn't think I'd come across a village. Well, that can give me punch. Punch isn't that great. Um, flint and steel. Wait, what was this? Bread. I don't see anything that great, like a diamond pickaxe or something. I need to find the blacksmith to do that, though. Um... I apologize for the villagers' uh, sounds. I know it's incredibly annoying. Um, this is hilarious where this village spawned because it's like some of it's floating, some of it's in the water. It's mixed with the sand temple. Oh, what do you got? Oh, okay. Um, I think that's about it for the villagers. It doesn't seem to be too much in this village. Um, most times, sand villages don't have, or whatever you want to call them, desert villages, they don't have blacksmiths. Um, so, too bad that I'm in the desert, because finding this in a forest or something would have definitely been better, just for that case. Um, but anyway, that was a great find. Um, I might get the crops here, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Alright guys, so I just got back from a huge mining trip. I was mining for about two hours uh, in an abandoned mine shaft, and uh, I ended up getting uh, all the stuff you can see here, and yes, I got 13 diamonds, which is freaking awesome, but uh, I have 62 iron ore here. Um, I smelted some of it, 25 iron ingots, uh, 6 gold, 61 redstone, which uh, got me about 10 levels, but um, I died twice to uh, some cave spiders, um, but don't worry, I got almost everything, the only things I didn't end up getting were my, uh, my other pickaxe, which only had efficiency 1 on it, and it only had about uh, 100 breaks left on it, so it was going to break soon anyway, so I'm not too upset about that, um, I still have my good pickaxe, and uh, everything else I need, uh, especially these diamonds, um, when I died, I thought for sure I was going to lose them in lava, but I didn't, so uh, I was able to save them. Um, because I was in a abandoned mineshaft, I also got some spider eyes, a bunch of string, and some coal. So, um, I'm just going to, uh, put the iron in this furnace here, and then put the gold in this furnace here. And, uh, I think today, uh, most people on the server have, uh, moved out of spawn. Um, so there are some, uh, awesome looking mountains over here. Let me just up my render distance here so you guys can see it. Um... And uh, I was thinking of building a new base over there, uh, mostly out of clay and quartz maybe. Um, I might throw in like some spruce wood or some jungle wood or something like that. Um, but I'll go over there and I'll meet you guys once I'm there. Alright, well guys, I'm here at the mountain base thing. Um, well, basically just a mountain right now. Um, I'm gonna build my base here, I believe. Um, let me just fix my volume here, it's probably a bit loud. Um, so, what I'm thinking is, I'm not really going to build, like, a house type thing. I kind of want to make it, like, underground. Um, so, what I was thinking is, in the mountain, I'm just going to build, like, a little hole, and then have a bit of an elevator down, and an elevator up, just using uh, water buckets. Um, and, and then it's just going to go, like, inside the mountain. So, I'm just going to check how thick the mountain is to see... Uh, if it'll work. Now, um, worst case, um, I might just go down until I'm in the ground, and then I can just do it that way, but if I can, 
I'd like to make it in the mountain. So, um, I need a crafting table here and put that down. So I have, as you can see, a lot of supplies here. Um, bunch of cyan, bunch of quartz, glass, nether brick, orange stained clay, glowstone, lapis, spread stained clay, pillar quartz blocks, uh, jungle wood, jungle leaves, blocks of redstone, and a bunch of stone bricks. Um, that's mainly because those are most of my building blocks. Um, and that's just, I'm not sure specifically what I'm going to do. Um, so I just have it all just in case. Um, I'm going to sleep here and I'll be right back with you guys and we'll start building. Alright guys, well, I slept, but uh, I did a bit of work, and it's almost night again, um, but uh, we should be inside by the time it becomes night, and uh, that way I can figure out the lighting outside for nighttime as well. Um, so as you can see, I cleared out um, a bit of this mountain here so that it's more of a clear uh, clear path here, and uh, we have some jungle, uh, jungle wood stairs here. Um, this is where the base is going to be, I'll have a door there and everything. Um, I'm going to put some stone brick here uh, to finish this off. Um, maybe put some underneath so it doesn't look like it's floating. Um, and then I'm going to add some lighting. Now for lighting, um, I think I'm going to do this. So I'm going to dig two blocks deep. Um, I think I'm actually going to make, make it so that there's grass on the other side where I can do it as well. But basically I'm going to put a glowstone and then put jungle leaves and that'll make some lighting. And uh, for those who have their graphics on fancy, they'll be able to see it underneath, and it actually looks a lot cooler that way. Um, now, I personally don't have my graphics on fancy just for uh, lag reasons, but um, I'm going to uh, build this up here on the side just so I can do the same thing. Um, so I need the dirt to kind of be level. Um, let's do that. Um, I want to make it look kind of natural as well if I can. If that works, um, so let's put some here, and then we'll try to make it not like a sudden drop, it's more of an easy drop. So once this turns to grass, it'll obviously look a lot better, um, but let's break that one, we don't need that one there. Put this here, and uh, then we're going to put a glowstone and uh, some jungle leaves there. So that, uh, that seems to do the trick, good thing it's night actually, so I can see this. Um, I might, uh, I might have to add some lighting up here though, just because it uh, might be too dark. Um, end up being too dark at uh, at night up here. But um, I might actually shoot. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add this. So I'm gonna move those lights back just because I want to make it look a bit nicer and make it so you don't just fall off the staircase and the sides. I think that looks a bit better, so um, I'm going to go back here and get this. Um, good thing I have a silk touch pick so I can get all that stuff. Um, if I broke the leaves without the silk touch pick, I uh, would have got nothing, so that's helpful. But uh, I think this will look nicer. You guys can give me your opinion, but uh, with the stone brick on the sides, I think that looks probably a bit better. Um, and then I can do this with the glowstone there and the jungle leaves there. I'm gonna put my graphics on fancy just for now, just so we can see um, how awesome it looks when um, the glowstone's under the jungle leaves. Um, but either way, it works fine. Um, I have a bunch of materials in this chest. I uh, tried to clear out my inventory. Um, so I'm gonna get this jungle wood um, and we'll put it here. That way we don't have to fill this with some lights. So there we go. I think that looks pretty good. Um, Again, you guys can give me your suggestions, but um, here I think I'll do hmm, I'll do a quartz floor and cyan walls and ceilings on the inside. So we'll do that, and then I'm going to grab my doors and pressure plates here that I have, and grab the other door. Um, I would like to do probably a sticky piston door uh, once I get those materials, but... Uh, as of right now, I don't have the stuff for a sticky piston. Um, by that, I mean I don't have slime balls, so um, that's not going to work out. But um, once I do that, once I get that, I will uh, I will change it. So um, I'm trying to uh, do a variety of videos um, on the Use Guys server. My first one was uh, kind of just an introduction, but uh, my second was mining. Um, 
My third was kind of like an overview uh, showing what's happened recently. Um, and this one's going to be a build. Um, trying to do uh, everything I can on the server for you guys to enjoy it. Um, I really enjoy getting you guys feedback. So uh, make sure to let me know in the comments if you're enjoying the Use Guy server episodes or what you'd like to see me do on the Use Guy server. Um, but for right now, we're going to work on this house. It might be a pretty big build just because I'm going to continue doing the inside. Um, as I'm on the server, it may be kind of a continuous build. But um, we'll do the cyan here. And then I think we can add cords here. And then we can do the doors. Now I don't think I need quartz in the outside here. Um, yeah, I don't want to waste my quartz, so... Oops. That's the only problem with an efficiency uh, for pickaxe is that it's going to break sometimes even faster than you want it to. Um, you should definitely see netherrack with it. Oh my gosh, it breaks netherrack uh, freaking fast. Um, but I think that looks okay. Um, I'm kind of going for a more of a modern look. Um, with the new uh, hardened clay blocks. Um, the inside will look probably a bit better because I have some wood on the outside and stuff, which doesn't help with that uh, that kind of look. So let's, let's put our quartz down here. I didn't actually make enough pressure plates. I only made the two for the outside, so I'll make two for the inside. Put some quartz down, put the pressure plates down, and now we have that. Um, I think, should I do it three high or four high? Maybe four high, that way we're just kind of like a safe distance so it doesn't look more uh, closed in and claustrophobic. So, we'll do a four high, I think. And then we'll do the ceiling where the stone is at the top. Sorry, I know on YouTube it makes videos very dark um, compared to what we can see. So, uh, it's probably extremely dark for you guys right now. So, let me, uh, let me put some glowstone, maybe just up there for now so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And, uh... I'll fix it afterwards to make it look nice, but um, I'm just going to, uh, I think, probably clear out a bunch of space here. I want to see how far back the mountain goes. Um, that way I can do my rooms and stuff. Here might be just, like, the main lobby. I want to make it, even though it's in a wall, like, in a cave, I want to be able to make it still feel open by clearing out a bunch of space. Um, so it doesn't feel like you're enclosed in a cave or anything. So that's, I'm going for the look of the hardened clay, like I said, more of a modern look. Um, and uh, that should help making it feel more open and stuff as well. Um, I do have some red stained clay here, so maybe, I don't know where I can throw this in and make it look nice. Maybe I could do, hmm, I'm thinking maybe something like that just for the entrance. But then I have to do the rest of the roof in cyan, so that won't work. Um, I don't have a lot of red stained clay, so it can only be used... Um, in little bits and pieces, so it can't be used as a bunch of stuff. I want to look at the other building blocks I have in here, um, just to see. So I do have some orange, not a lot of orange either. So yeah, I will have to do the roof, I think it's cyan maybe, as well. Um, for now anyways. Um, so maybe I might be able to leave that glowstone there. It does, I think it works. Um, you're not going to be looking up anyway. But let's see how this looks for lighting purposes here. Um, so down there, of course, is good. Up here, I guess, is okay. It's not that dark, especially because the glowstone we have is in here. So uh, that should work okay. Um, let's do the bottom here of the floor with some quartz. Um, make sure you guys leave some feedback on if you want me to do some more uh, building videos. Um, I know for my first one, I did a speed build just because I didn't think you guys would want to see me... Uh, doing basically what I'm doing right now and taking the time to do it um, but you guys can uh, can tell me what you like if you'd like it just to be a speed build if you'd like it uh, to do what I'm doing right now or if you'd like me to walk uh, walk you through it or if you just want me to do it and then show you guys afterwards so um, I have a feeling this will be the main lobby as I said and it'll trail off into other rooms um, I think that would work and um, now it looks kind of bland and boring with all the uh, cyan so I might throw some lapis in here oops didn't mean to do that I'm gonna need more glowstone I don't have a lot at all um, but I want to try to throw in some lapis so 
Maybe I might do a fountain in the middle and then that will uh, open up the look a bit. But uh, for now, I might throw in some jungle leaves like that. Um, just to add in some plant life and make it more colorful and stuff. Um, and then maybe, maybe some lapis somewhere. I don't know specifically where to put it. Maybe behind the, behind the plants here. Um, would that work? Um, oh shoot, I just broke that and didn't get it. Because I didn't use my silk touch pick. Um, yeah, let's try this. I'm just kind of doing trial and error here, seeing what it looks like. And the only problem is if I'm on fast graphics, I won't see it. So, uh, maybe I'll just end up doing cyan. Um, I will try to make it look a little better in the future. Um, like I said, this is just going to be the start of this project. It uh, will probably continue on for quite a bit. Um, so let's put some more cyan here. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to open this up and uh, continue a little more on it. Um, just because you guys probably don't want to see me building this um, for half an hour. So uh, let me skip ahead here a bit and I'll be back in just a sec. Alright guys, so this is the turnout after a couple hours of building. Um, I expanded it a bit, uh, made it a bit bigger, and I put some red snake clay on the roof, some glowstone up there. Um, I hid some glowstone under these leaves. Um, if I go to graphics on fast, uh, it lights up the room, and it's not just those. Um, the corners are lit up as well. So uh, you can see my uh, light level there. It's, uh, it's pretty high, so mobs are definitely not going to spawn in here. Um, I really like the turnout, except this is just going to be temporary because um, I said I wanted to do, like, have this cut out and do more rooms and stuff. So uh, this is just temporary right now. Um, just another living space with some beds and all the essential things you need. Um, so this is a turnout, and uh, that's the end of episode four. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you